morning everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. We are undecorating today. We're getting rid of Halloween. We're giving the house a bit of a clean and just getting it all fresh, ready to start decorating for Christmas. So I think I'm gonna undecorate today and maybe just give the house a week of just clear, <laughs> uncluttered mess and yeah then we'll start decorating next weekend i reckon so today if you can see in the background there got quite a bit of the kitchen to clean up we didn't do any dishes last night and yeah got to do the kitchen jesse's been painting the shelf to go in her room so i might move that into her room for her and get rid of all that obviously we want to pack away halloween get rid of the deef Get rid of the deaf. <laughs> Poor little guy. I'm actually trying something different. Let me put you down because my arm's already aching. So I'm going to try something different. Normally with my cleaning routine, it hasn't been happening for the last few weeks. Trust me, I've barely been getting up in time to go straight to work. Normally I like to wake up a bit earlier before I start work, spend an hour doing some sort of cleaning in the house and then start work. But I've been going to bed like really late, like <laughs> probably midnight, sometimes one in the morning. And then I have to start work at eight. So I've been getting up basically about 10 to eight, throwing on a, a clean t-shirt, you know, straightening my hair and then sitting straight at my desk to start work. So I haven't been doing any cleaning routine. And in saying that, I haven't been doing any exercise either. Apart from the first three weeks when I kick-started my whole healthy journey off, I was so good for about three weeks. I went every single morning, I was going at lunchtime, and yeah, I was doing really well. And then I think it either started raining or something, and then of course when I skip a day, it just I just go all out of the routine, and then yeah, I have basically not exercised since. So. I'm gonna try and use the, even if I just get up half an hour earlier before I start work and go for half an hour walk in the morning, I'm gonna try and use my mornings for my walk so that it's done, it's out the way, I don't have to think about it. And then if I do feel like doing extra at lunchtime or during the afternoon or whatever, I mean, want to do extra as if I'd, as if I'd ever want to do extra but if I do then there's always time I can find time throughout the day like I would but anyway so yeah well, I think it, come, you don't just come with the deep. yeah well I might even start doing that actually that yeah would be way easier than, even than getting up early. early yeah I might actually start doing that but then uh, that means I have to spend all that time with you and it's just no, like... You walk two metres behind me. All right. <laughs> Maybe with my headphones in. So I can just pretend I'm alone. <laughs> but yeah, so... So, yeah, where was I going with all that? Normally I would do my cleaning in the morning. Not going to do that anymore. Going to try and do something in the morning as far as exercise. Then, because Michael takes the deef for a walk every single afternoon. I mean, he can't not. The deef lets you know when it's time and whether you're on time or not, or if it's getting late, he'll let you know. So he does that religiously. Uh, so I might even start going with them. And then what I was gonna do, because the only reason I used to like split up my cleaning through doing an hour every morning was because I could not do the whole house clean all in one day. It was just way too much for me. Like I just, it would exhaust me. I could barely get half the house done in a day. But since I've decluttered my house and I don't have a lot of stuff, it literally, I can literally clean the whole house in a few hours. I just figured I'm gonna try because I'm going to visit my dad on a Saturday now instead of my rostered day off on a Friday because I get a rostered day off every two weeks. I figured I might use my rostered day off to clean the house, which means I'm only really going to be cleaning the house every fortnight. I mean, that's not to say I'm not going to vacuum. I mean, obviously the kitchen needs daily uptake. The floor needs regular vacuuming at least twice a week, at least. I mean, that's if I don't mind looking at tumbleweeds for a few days. Um, so apart from just the overall like maintenance, like vacuuming in the kitchen, 
I just, I'm going to see if, if I can let the house go for two weeks and then change the sheets, give all the bathrooms a good scrub. And obviously, look, if I see shit stains in the toilet prior to my roster day off, I'll clean them. But, you know, I'm not getting out my mop bucket. I'm not getting out all the cleaning supplies and all of that. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a go to see if this works. I'm, I'm constantly trying to change my routines up to see what's what's more efficient for me and what gives me the most spare time what will give me more free time back to me rather than just feeling a slave to working and cleaning and not really ever getting time to do fun stuff so I'm going to give that a go so today being Friday it's my roster day off we're going to attempt to give the whole house a clean and yeah we'll see how we go so I'm going to start in this room because this is the room that needs the most attention and then work my way into other rooms that need the next attention rather than going from one end of the house to the next. I'll just get the things done that really need doing first and then if there's other rooms that don't really need doing, well, they don't really need doing, you know what I mean? They can go another week or two. So that's my thought process anyway. I've got Mike making me my coffee for the morning. Should I do... No, I won't do anything until I've had my coffee because he's a real coffee Nazi. If I don't drink that coffee the minute it gets put down in front of me, he basically threatens to tip it down the sink because he's like, oh, you have to drink it while the froth's still frothing and once the froth starts reducing and all that, you may as well just tip it out. So I have to have, I have, to have my coffee straight away. And then as soon as I had, had my coffee, we'll get stuck into the kitchen. So we'll have a nice clean kitchen and then we'll get rid of all there, the see? Halloween decor. Yeah, I am spoiled. I can't even see it at that angle. Have a look at that for a frothy coffee. Oh my gosh. I might even sprinkle a little bit of my um, sugar-free oh, chocolate on it today. It. Yeah, just have a little bit of sugar-free chocolate on the top. So I've got my sugar-free chocolate. Just sprinkle a little bit on. Give it that real cup. Oh, you can't even see. There, give it that real cappuccino look. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to enjoy this and we'll be back for some cleaning. So we're starting on the dishes again because, yes, my uh, dishwasher has still not been fixed. It's still flooding and Michael's still not had a look at it. So we are hand washing all of the dishes and it's a pain in my butt. And sometimes I keep saying to myself, I'm just going to refuse to do any of the dishes. So once someone else has to do them and it's an inconvenience to them, they might, you know, get pushed into a faster gear to get the dishwasher fixed, maybe. And it hasn't worked yet because I think I just get frustrated quicker than I am patient about leaving the dishes unwashed. So, yeah, it hasn't been working. So we're still hand washing dishwasher's still not working 100%. Well, it, look, it is working, like it's fully functioning, but I have a feeling there's a seal or something that's either cracked or worn, and it's allowing water to drip into this little catchment tray, which then triggers the anti-flood um, mechanism in it so that it stops, you know, actually washing and just is in a like a pump mode all the time. It's trying to pump the water away. So yeah, I think there's I don't think there's much to it, but it's just a matter of getting the machine out, pulling it apart and having a look at the seals, but we'll get there. So in the meantime, we're just hand washing everything. The other thing I wanted to mention to you guys too, and I've seen this happening so much over the last year or so, is I don't know why it's happening and I know I'm not the only one it's happening to, but YouTube is constantly unsubscribing people from not just my channel but other people's channels as well and I know this because I often get people commenting on some Instagram posts that I post like if I post a picture up there'll be people commenting on that picture going oh miss you Lisa can't wait till you're back on YouTube again when I've been posting constantly like every few days or so so it turns out that they've been unsubscribed to my channel and they've said to me that they definitely haven't unsubscribed. 
I don't have any way of unsubscribing people and why would I like I'm trying to grow my channel like not delete people off it but yeah and I've noticed it's actually happened to me as well on channels that I consistently watch I'll go a few weeks and think oh I haven't seen a video from this person for a while I'll go to check their channel and I'm not subscribed to that channel anymore and I know I haven't unsubscribed myself so yeah I don't I don't know what to do to stop it but I do notice that every time I upload a video I will lose like a handful of subscribers straight away but then over the coming days of that video being released the the subscribers come up again but I don't know if they're the same people like I don't know if it's just new people subscribing or I, I don't know it's just weird that every single time I upload a video I automatically lose a handful of subscribers if it happened every now and again I wouldn't think much of it but it happens every single time I upload a video and it just seems a bit weird to me if you're a regular watcher of mine just keep an eye on it make sure you are subscribed make sure you check the notification bell but yeah, other than that, I really don't know what to do about it. I don't know what's causing it. I don't know why it happens. I don't know. I mean, as an Australian content creator, we really struggle to be seen on the, the wider map of YouTube. It, it's really hard. They, they seem to really favour American YouTubers, clearly. But um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what we can do to fix it. I'm just grateful to all you guys that are here on a regular basis watching the videos. Maybe, you know, if you can share uh, these videos and my channel with as many people as you know to help get the channel seen and help the channel grow, it might have some more positive impact. I really don't know. I honestly don't know. But yeah, uh, I am sorry if you are getting subscribed. It's definitely not me. It is definitely some glitch in the YouTube matrix. I've got my Halloween boxes packed away. And then I've got my three shelves spare there for the Christmas. I'll only probably need two. So that's a good thing. And also have a look at this section in the garage. If you remember from when we cleaned the garage out. We got rid of the washer and dryer, sold that. We sold the big desk that was in Jamie's room. With this, I think he's getting picked up today. Uh, these car parts are sold. They're just getting picked up on the weekend. And then those boxes are just to burn. So then the whole garage, like this section is all clear. Everything else is on the shelf. And then I'll give my stuff that I've listed currently a couple more weeks to sell. And then if it doesn't, it's all going to get donated to the thrift store along with those three boxes there as well. So, yeah, it's looking good. We're really getting it down to the wire now. So we're just moving on to the great room now. I'm just moving this cupboard or you know, cube shelving unit into Jessie's room so that I can clear up that space and I'm just going to give the table a good wipe down and put all the spices and everything back on that so we can <laughs> have that at the table when we're eating dinner. It's a real pain in the ass during holiday season having a big tablescape on there because yeah we can't have our normal little lazy Susan of um, salt and pepper and spices and sauces on the table like we normally do. But um, yeah, we've got a week of it now, so we'll lap it up while we can. <laughs> Giving the chairs a wipe down too, they get really grotty. So I've just stripped the bed and I'm just going to quickly get this in the wash while it's still daylight and we're working off the solar energy. And then, yeah, we'll come back and clean the rest of the bedroom and put some fresh bedding on. So moving on into my bathroom now, I've already just thrown some disinfectant in the toilet and letting that all sit and soak in a bit and just going to give the ensuite a quick wipe over. It didn't really need much. I didn't do the shower because I uh, gave that a deeper clean the previous weekend, so that was fine. Uh, I'm basically just cleaning what needs to be cleaned. You know, if it looks dusty and dirty, clean it. If it doesn't, leave it. 
I'm all about efficiency these days. I'm trying to make things as easy and quick as possible rather than being a slave to all the housework and all everything. I just want more spare time to relax and, you know, do my own thing. So, yeah, going back to the whole unsubscribing and my whole channel thing, uh, the other thing I want to uh, just make you guys aware as well, if, I, if there is going to be any problem with a video or if I'm having a break or, you know, there's going to be any interruption to my channel whatsoever and I'm not going to be uploading any video, I will always post a notification in on my community page on my YouTube channel so if you go to my YouTube channel and you see all the tabs going across that show you uh, videos playlists shorts and all of that there should be a little tab called posts and if you click on that that will highlight that will have all the notices that I've posted just letting you guys know if if there's anything happening and for whatever reason I can't post a video so if you haven't heard from me in a while and you've checked that page and there's nothing there I would then probably suggest checking that you are subscribed to the channel because chances are you probably aren't so yeah basically if if I can't upload for for any reason and I need to have a break from YouTube I will put it in the community tab to let you guys know what's happening and update you guys periodically um, as to when I'll be uploading next. So you can always check there. Also Instagram. I'm not really heavily engaged on TikTok. I don't I don't post on there very often. I was doing my weight loss journey on there at one stage, but I just can't keep up with it all, in all honesty. I just can't keep up with all the social media. And I very rarely go on TikTok. In all honesty, I think the only things I ever watch on TikTok are like keto recipes. So, yeah, I'm not a big follower of TikTok or poster to TikTok. But I do try to be more regular on Instagram. So I'm always live it like Lisa on all the social medias, whether it's Pinterest, Instagram, um, TikTok, YouTube, all of those, Facebook, you can find me there. Facebook, I'm not active anymore either. Uh, Pinterest, I'm not active as far as my own posting, but I do go on there for inspiration. So uh, you can check out my boards, but they're mostly filled with other people's stuff, not my own not my own personal stuff. That's basically all I wanted to say about that. Just check out my community page if you feel like you haven't heard from me and you don't know what's going on. Chances are I would have posted something there to let you guys know. So we're nearly on the homeward stretch now, just putting away everyone's washing and this is pretty much the last chore of my day. And my goodness, this really took a lot out of me. <laughs> I was exhausted at the end. Wow, we guys, I am done. I'm finished. It is 4.30. I probably started at around 11 and I probably had about an hour's break at around 1.30 because I was just waiting for the people to come and pick up the little bar fridge that was in the garage. So all that stuff from the garage, well not all of it, but the bar fridge is gone after all I just showed you this morning. So it's, that's looking really good out there. Once the rest of that stuff goes, oh my God, I feel so good. So let me show you the whole house. It's all done. All done except for Jessie's room and Jessie's bathroom. So it's Jessie's responsibility to clean her own bathroom since she's the only one using it now. So she will be doing that tomorrow. And then I'm heading up to Port tomorrow to visit my dad. And I'm gonna pick her up some of the little cubed baskets for that shelf that she was painting. So once we get those baskets and we finish off her room, I'll see if she's wanting to share her room with you guys as well. Uh, and so we can show you um, that room all done. So let's start at one end of the house and work our way up. I'll show you the bedroom first. <sighs> it's so satisfying when the whole house is clean all at once. So here is what we're looking at. Now I am going to do, I know I keep saying this in a lot of vlogs, <laughs> but I will be doing an update on my Simplified Life series. So if you see that my bedroom looks a lot emptier than it used to um, yeah I'll explain all of that when I get around to doing those videos so yeah 
For now, we are all clean, all done. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. So yeah, I'm just happy I can just get the whole house done in one go now. Um, toilet's just plain and simple, nothing exciting in there. I didn't clean the shower today because I gave it a bleach clean last weekend, you know, despite being on septic. I was just getting a bit over it, so it's still fairly decent, so I didn't go to town on that. But yeah, bed is all changed and ready to go. It's not a very nice day today. Um, that room there, that's the garage, <coughs> into the garage. That room there's Michael's YouTube room. I didn't touch that because he's, <coughs> he's sorting out his own stuff in here. Um, he's got like Nerf stuff that he's sort of getting ready to list and yeah, I don't really go in here. I do leave the door open every now and again though, just so it doesn't get stuffy in there. And I may just vacuum if there's bits on the floor, but yeah, haven't touched that room. So, coming up the hallway, we have the entryway here. The entryway is very basic now. All of those little bottles, they're normally up on the shelves above our computers when we're not decorating for Halloween or Christmas. So yeah, all that really sits on that bench is the, the vase there. Um, moving into the, well, I used to call this the theatre room, but realistically it's just the lounge room now where we watch TV. I've taken all the theatre room decor off the walls. I'm just not into it. That's all nice and clean. Floors are all mopped. Now, this big great room, oh my gosh, just take the floors in, no footprints whatsoever, take it in, remember it, because this will probably be the one and only time you'll ever see it. <laughs> oh, my floors are never clean. I've, I've just resigned to the fact that, oh, there he is, the little boy. I've just resigned the fact that my floors are not going to be clean, but at least when I mop them, it refreshes them. So it just, you know, gets rid of the smells and things. So yeah, even if there's footprints on them, not that fast. So our little office nook section, I've emptied all the shelves now. We're bare bones, back to bare bones. Uh, and it's just going to stay like this until I start decorating for Christmas. I've got my diamond painting over here i've just set it up at this end of the table so i can continue to work on it table's back to normal no more decor on it our ugly shoe rack over there ugly but practical so <laughs> that's how we live our life got a scented candle going my kitchen oh my god my kitchen it is amazing i mean not amazing but it's all clean that's what I like, all clean. There is a couple of dishes in the sink, but um, I've, they're already washed, they're just drying. So, and I've just got to see the little plants over there. That's one of those, the one in the middle, well, not one of them, because there's only one there, but that's a basil plant. And so I want to get a coriander and either a dill or a parsley for the other side, and then just have some like fresh herbs inside the house as well, um, as a little bit of decor. <laughs> I think I can handle that decor until they start dying and looking shit and then I'll get rid of them. But yeah, floors all nice and clean, everything's clean. My little breakfast nook all clean. I should have the lights on in here too. Pantry, pantry was not really that dirty, I mainly just needed to mop the floor but yeah, all nice and clean. So now we're heading up to the other end of the house. My craft room, I didn't do, I didn't show me doing much because all I did was vacuum. Um, it was already tidy, so yeah, I didn't do much in here uh, except for um, doing the floors. So like I said, that's Jessie's room. We'll leave that until tomorrow. This is Jamie's room now. So we got rid of the big desk that used to be here. And I'm just using this uh, area to dry my clothes in for now. Obviously when he comes to stay, we'll just you know collapse it up and put that in the laundry. But yeah, it's just a, a nice big space and I normally just put it near the window when it's a little bit breezy and all the clothes just air dry. It gives me a bit more room in the laundry. 
This is Jamie's bed now. Um, I'm actually going to port tomorrow. I'm going to pick up some bedside lights for, or bedside lamps for the two tables there as well. So yeah, we'll, we'll go when we go. We'll, have a quick look in Target, see if there's any cheapy lamps that we can put there. And that's the new bedding I've got on his bed. So the Arlo set from Target. Well, there's a couple of sets there. We've got the beige sheets, the denim blue quilt cover, and then the purple um, pillowcases at the back. So yeah, that's Jamie's room all nice and cleared out and tidy. And hey, the washing in here too makes his room smell really nice and fresh. Um, so yeah, there wasn't really much to do in the toilet. I had already given the toilet a clean the a uh, couple of days ago. But that's all nice and clean. We've got the laundry, just doing some washing currently. Uh, that's all nice and clean. Got my sheets hanging up there, and then we've got Jessie's bathroom. And yeah, like I said, her bathroom. She needs to do her own bathroom and it desperately needs doing. It is a filthy mess. Uh, so yeah, once she does her bathroom, we'll probably give you a little update uh, tomorrow. So we are all done. Wow, it feels amazing. God, I tell you what though, to say I'm buggered is an understatement. Whew. <laughs> and it's hot today. Well, it's not really hot, but I think because I've been like working, I'm sweating. I'm finished for today. I'm actually really tired. I'm probably going to have a nice shower in about half an hour. I'm going to give myself half an hour to just to cool down because there's nothing worse than having a shower when you're still feeling hot and sweaty. So I'm going to, yeah, cool down for about half an hour, do a little bit of editing and I'm going to have a nice shower, get my clean pyjamas on, get into a beautiful, clean, fresh bed and yeah, it'll make for a good night's sleep, I think. So, I'll start a new vlog tomorrow. So, hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching.